Hey, how goes it? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer here in Los Angeles. And today I'm gonna to teach you the basics of keyframe animation in After Effects. Now, keyframe animation is one of those basic things that's gonna apply across the board with everything that you're doing here in After Effects. Keyframe animation is a pretty basic concept. If you think about it like this, you're trying to get from point A to point B in a certain amount of time, whether it's five seconds or 10 seconds, whatever. So you're trying to go from one place to another over a period of time. That's keyframe animation. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say, this is point A, this is point B, and here's the allotted time to get there. So we're gonna do that here in After Effects. So what you wanna do is open up After Effects, create a new composition. This is fine HD TV, we'll say 10 seconds is good. Okay, now that we've got our composition set up, I'm just gonna click here in the comp window and then say layer new solid. That's gonna give me the option here to make a solid of any size, you know, any color, things like that. So I'm just gonna say make comp size. So that's the same as my window and it's a nice blue. I'm gonna shrink it down here into being a little square so we can use that for illustrative purposes. So I'm gonna start it here on the left. So if I just scrub my little transform down here in the timeline, you'll see that you have a number of different things that you can change over time. It's not just where it is, you can also change the scale, how big it is, if it's spinning, how many times. There's a lot of different things that you can change over time. Actually, any of the effects, anything you can really change over time in keyframe animation here in After Effects. We're just gonna do a basic position, left to right, okay? So what we'll do is we'll start at zero seconds, in our timeline. Then we're gonna turn on this little stopwatch here next to position. What that does is it creates a keyframe and says, at this point in time, this is where we are. Then I'm gonna scrub forward, say five seconds. So we'll go to the five second mark. And then what I can do is I can change the position again in a couple different ways. One, I can grab here on the little number um, position thing and you'll see the hand change it the cursor changes to a little hand with a scrubber and if I just drag that it'll actually just change that number over to 977 we've got I also could click on it and type in say 976 hit enter and it'll go to that point lastly I can also just grab it with my cursor and move it over there now if I wanted it to go in a straight line I would hold shift to get there and it'll go in a straight line. It'll also do various angles as well, like say up and down, whatever. Right now I'm going left to right. So that's how you can move it. And now you'll see when I got to that point at five seconds, it created a new keyframe. So now it's got two to work with. It's got my point A here and it's got my point B here. And it knows that over those five seconds, that's how it's gonna get from there to there. So that's the basic of keyframe animation. You wanna get from point A to point B, or you wanna change a parameter, say from you know, very small to very large over that same amount of time. And that can apply to everything. So that's the basics of keyframe animation. That's gonna help a lot with you know, everything animating down the road. So try a couple different things. Try a scale, try rotation, change some things over time, and you'll see how it animates. It's pretty cool stuff. Hope you learned something. Again, my name is Parker. Send any requests that you've got to requests at mahalo.com. Have a good one.